Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Marcel. I'm a curve model and creator in Los Angeles. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a scent smell video. I don't know what to call it. A video about scents. So if you watched my last video, I got my Sephora order for the big sale that happens twice a year. And I got the Maison Margiela replica set. So we are gonna smell all these and I'm gonna give you my thoughts and first impressions as somebody who used to work at a perfume counter. That's right. That's right. Comes like this. All the scents. I think I've smelled like two of these before. I'm gonna spray them and I'm gonna rate them from one to 10. We're gonna rate, rank them. That's what we're gonna do. Where's my pen? Where's my pen, Harry? How are you guys doing? So I put little numbers, so I'm gonna put them in. All right, let's start with Jazz Club. All right, so I got these like pieces of paper. I'm just gonna spray them on. Fan it. Ooh, I understand why it's called Jazz Club. I'm getting like, like rich furnishings, clothes that have been dry cleaned with like faint scents of cigar and very rich perfumes and oils. More flowery than I would expect, but has that like musky basement jazz club energy. Where would I wear this? I mean, obviously you could wear it to a jazz club. I don't know if I'd like reach for this, but I don't hate it. Ooh, okay. I could smell that forever. That's actually really nice. I mean, the thing about the Maison, I don't even know how to say it. Where's my pen? The thing about Maison Margiela perfumes is they're very like full body. That's why I really like them. Now I need to clear my palette. Just some fruit juice to clear the palate. You know, no big deal. Okay, this one is called Springtime in the Park. Too alcoholy right away, hold on. Sometimes you wanna spray perfume and like really let it dry because there's some florally perfumes that smell like straight alcohol if you don't let them sit. All perfumes are also gonna adapt to your body like scents anyway, so that's why like some people will wear the same perfume but it'll like smell slightly different on them. This is just very flowery. It's calmed down a little bit and gotten to like the powder stage. I would never wear this. I would this reminds me of like um Miss Dior around that range of scents. I it's just not my thing. It's very like a, do you like a a tree with like pink flowers falling from it, pink and white flowers. Not necessarily jasmine, but like New York, like 34th Street and 6th Avenue. It's cloudy. It's definitely powdery. It's just not for me. It just feels like a different personality to me, honestly. Just very girly. Either slightly older than me and girly or slightly younger than me and girly. Um, what's this called? Springtime. Springtime in the park. Smells okay. Cleanse the palette. I also have some ginger shoes. <sighs> Got these from um, Joanne's Fabric, so. Next one is called Under the Lemon Tree. I love lemony scents, especially when they're really like high end. Oh, I just sprayed it on my finger. That's bad. I already smell the lemon. Without even trying to smell it, I already smell the lemon. I love it. Oh, see, it's like girly and light, like springtime, but fresh, happy. Mm, it just gives me that feeling. It really smells like lemons. I mean, if you want to just smell like lemons. Ooh, and it softens a little bit, like a nice lemonade, like fresh, fresh, fresh lemonade. I really like that. I feel like I don't need to smell it too long because like I know what lemons smell like. It's like, if you want to smell like lemons, under the lemon tree, you know? Okay, this one is called By the Fireplace. Wow, we are going all over the place. We are going all over the place. I've smelled this one. I like this one a lot. Oh, it's a fireplace. Mm. Mm. It just brings back so many memories. 
even like memories I don't even have, like memories from movies, like what I think something smells like. This is just like what I assume every actor who's in a black and white movie smells like, you know? Like I really ass assume Bob Hope smells like this on Christmas. That's what I, that's, that's the scent. This is Bob Hope's house on Christmas or Catherine Hepburn's. I wear this to Christmas parties. This is what I've worn to Christmas parties. It's a favorite. I really like it. It's not for everyone. If you want to smell girly, this is not the perfume. Next one's called At the Barbers. I feel like this is like geared towards men a little bit. I don't, I've never been to a barber. Actually, I went to a barber once when I was babysitting some kids and they had to get a haircut. I don't remember the smell of it. Ugh. It smells like aftershave. No. Mm-mm. It's like minty. No. Uh-uh. That is last place. I don't even need to. I, I can't imagine there's something that's gonna be worse than this. Why did I just misplace it? At the barber, last place. Like, let's just, no, that is not, Ugh. it's like Axe body spray. Oof, no, no funk wheel. I need a full palette cleanse after that. Mm-mm, that is gross. Next one is bubble bath. Well, this should be appealing. I hope it's not too flowery. It's more like lavendery, that's my guess. It's pretty strong. It is a lot more bubbly. If I'm not getting lavender, I'm getting like jasmine or something like that. It's like an herby flower. I mean, yeah, it's fine. It kind of gives me like Lancome vibes. Is that bad? Like, you know what I mean? I don't like that. It's just like kind of basic as far as scents go. I just like don't get a lot of complexity there. I don't get a lot of complexity there. Moving on, let's push on, push on, push on, push on. This one's like blue, which is fun. Sailing day. I'm sailing, I'm a sailor. Look at me, I'm sailing. Name that movie in the comments, huh? Okay. Ooh. This is surprising. It's the ocean, but Ralph Lauren. Like, do you know what I mean? It's the ocean, but on a yacht. Or a sailboat, I guess. It's very chill. This is something if you don't want, if you just want to like smell good, but you don't want to like come off scenty, this is a good one. I like this one. Powdery, which I don't mind. I, I can't put my finger on it. It's just like linen-y or something. It's really nice. Oh, I love that one. Sailing day. Whispers in the library. Whispers in the library. Let's find out what they are whispering in the library. I have no idea what this would smell like. Old books? alcoholy. It's musty. It is kind of old books. Leather. Yeah, leather. I don't love leather scents. Mm, it's leather. Ooh, and dust. Like this actually smells like a library, which great. <clears throat> it's just choking me out a little bit. I'm not a fan. I would think I would like that because it's like like uh, rich and round and like kind of deep in the scent department. It's also on the flowery end or on the citrus end, but mm -mm. I think when it goes into leather territory, I, I, I check out, I'm not into it. Next one we have beach walk. I've smelled this one. I like this one. It smells like a beach walk, but let's do it. Especially because I've been doing all my all the scents, my nose has really opened up. Hmm. Another like it's near what sailing day is, but a little more sandy. If that makes sense. I need to smell them together. Okay, it's less 
citrusy than Sailing Day. Sailing Day has like a little bit of a citrus. They're in the same profile though, but this one's like a more powdery, floral, calm scent. Last one is Lazy Sunday Morning. Lazy Sunday Morning. What could this be? Coffee? What do we think? Coffee and cream? Maybe? Maybe herby? Coffee and cream. I mean, it's not like coffee. Mm. That's really nice. It's like vanilla-y. It's like if you were drinking coffee next to some flowers. That's really quite lovely, actually. Okay, now we're gonna order them. Let's go over my rankings, okay? In the 10th place, we are going for At The Barbers. I don't like it. Ninth place, Whispers in the Library. I just, the smell of leather, not for me. If you like leather, it's very strong. Next one is Bubble Bath. Very basic, boring, floral, reminded me of Lancome. Jazz Club. It was okay. It smells, it was interesting. It's an interesting scent. Not for me, for someone else, I, but I wouldn't mind it on someone else. You know what I mean? Next one is Springtime in the Park. I like spring on time in the park. It just, a little too floral and like faintly floral for me to care about it. That's why it's kind of in the middle because I liked it, but I, I don't think I would think to put it on and I can't think of a place I would wear it. The next one is Beach Walk. I like Beach Walk. It's a very simple perfume. This is not gonna threaten anybody. It's calming, it's lovely. I think you could recognize this on people. Next one, Lazy Sunday Morning. I love the vanilla and the complexities of this one, while not surprising, did give me something to think about. I, lo I love that perfume. That's a good one, Lazy Sunday Morning. Next one is By the Fireplace. This is a unique choice that everyone's gonna love this one. I just love it. It just gives me a very strong visual memory. Mm. If you like musky scents like that, you're, you might really like um, By the Fireplace. Next one, Under the Lemon Tree. I love citrusy stuff, especially when it's pure. It's not like alcohol-y. When it's like a really bright citrusy smell that actually smells like you just squeeze some lemon juice on you. That's great. People are gonna remember that and compliment you on that. They're gonna be like, ooh, you smell like lemons. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Then the one I loved the most was Sailing Day. It was very surprising. It made me feel rich, which, you know, this, Perfume is actually really expensive if you're gonna buy the whole bottle. So if I'm gonna buy the whole bottle, I want a perfume that like makes me feel as rich as I should be when I buy this. You know what I mean? Very just like solid scent. Not overpowering, just really light, breezy. Brings a memory. I'm gonna put it on you right now. Ooh, I like that. Oh, that's nice. I just really feel like I'm in a Ralph Lauren store. But like in the 90s, not like in a cheap way, like in the 90s when it was like a really big deal to be Ralph Lauren. That was a fly. Ignore the fly. This is a rich video. We're doing rich things. So this is the correct order. And if you think I'm wrong, you're wrong. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like this video. Be a big help. Also follow me on Instagram. It's Marcel Duh. Or, you know, I guess you could just block me if you decided you hated me after this, but I guess I don't need to know about that. So I hope you don't. This was a requested video in the comments, so hope that person enjoyed this, and I hope maybe some new people came to my channel. Hi, how are you? We got lots of videos, lots of fashion, beauty, skincare stuff. Check it out. Weird vlogs, you know? We're doing stuff. Maybe not consistently, but we're doing it, and that's what's important. Okay. You guys are really cute. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.